What's up, freaks? We are ready for boxing, kickboxing, cardio. We're throwing tons of punches, some kicks, get gloved up, your hands are wrapped, get them wrapped up. If you have wraps, if you have gloves, if you have a bag, use it. If not, it doesn't even matter. Most of the time on these boxing workouts, I'm hitting just the air and I'm dripping sweat, I'm beat, I'm spent afterwards. If you have the bag, awesome, fun, smash it. If not, don't worry about it, you don't even need it. Let's do this. Get your hands locked up, wrapped up. Now let me tell you, even though some, even with bags, I'll still do entire workouts when I'm following along here on the recordings of the boxing, even without the, the bag, just because you can do it anywhere in the world. I'll do it on the beach. I'll do it outside. I'll do it in the park. I'll do it in the backyard. So even if I'm not somewhere where my bag is, I'll still sometimes choose even to do that just because you can do it anywhere. It's just the convenience of it. So let's do it. Let's get loosened up. We're going to get, be doing so many punches and kicks. We want to make sure our hips are warmed up today. So we're actually going to start right off the bat. Just throw a thumbs up in there. I like if you're here, if you're awake, you're ready to roll. We're going to start with some hips. You can hold onto a wall, the side that you're holding onto, that same side is going to swing up. Or whatever you're holding on, you can hold onto a chair. Get your arms swinging right along with that too. You're going to swing forward. And breathe out as you're whipping that hip forward. And look what I'm going back. It's also extending my hip here. So we're loosening up. And flip it around. Hold on the other hand. So again, the side you're holding onto your chair or your wall with, that same side is whipping while this arm is also flinging back a little bit, loosening up that shoulder. Now you're gonna face in towards your wall or your chair. And you're gonna start with side. Point the toes to the right, open up, point to the left. See, I'm rotating my, turning my hips while my right foot stays flat, whipping this left hip across. Not muscling it up, just swinging it across. Hold the left foot steady. And let's go with the right leg. Whip it. Turn it. You're turning the hip over. Getting ready for those kicks. Shake it out. Shake it out. What's up? Who's here? Clara is here. What's going on? Beth, of course. Wouldn't expect anything less. Ava's here. Sam, Jeffrey, Marzok. Let's do this. Let's get ready to roll. So now those, those arms, we're going to start off nice and slow with just a one and a two, then knee hug, knee hug, just to stretch out. Just a real loose one, two, knee hug right, knee hug left. One, two, then knee hug left, knee hug right. So we're gonna be going from punch to kick. Every combo is gonna have punches, mixes, kicks, hooks, and elbows, and knees. So we're just getting ready to be switching from upper to lower body. So you're not even throwing punches yet, you're just going through the motion. We're gonna warm those punches up in a second. One, two. Knee hug. Knee hug. What's up? <sighs> breathe it out. Breathe it out. Get that energy level up. Just alternate which side you're knee hugging also. All right, let's go to the three, four. Just a loose, light three, four. Quad, quad. Reset, three, four. And then go with the left quad first and right quad. Three, four. Loosen those hips up. Right. Left, three, four. Just alternate which side you're going to first. Same combo, different stretch. Boom, boom, one more time. Three, four, stretch and stretch. Let's go to five, six, our uppercuts, our uppercuts. Just loose, we're just going through, we're just getting motion down, we're just getting the body moving. We didn't even start throwing full speed punches yet. Just getting stressed out, stretch, punch, punch. Shoulder, fling, shoulder. Back to five, six, fling, go right side first, then left. Five, six, fling, left, fling, right. Five, six, fling, right, and left. Boom, boom, fling it. Yes. And shake that out, bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. Get some bounce in your step. Lighten your feet, shake those arms out. We're getting ready to move. We're getting ready to move. We're just going to run through all those stretches back to back. So you're going to go quad, 
quad, knee hug, knee hug, shoulder, shoulder. Rotate through. Hold those for as long as you need to. Do we one to three seconds? Hold it for a couple extra seconds. Get that quad stretched. Then over to the other side. Hold for one to three seconds. At the same time, you're warming up that leg to balance. Knee hug, same thing, one to three seconds. While you're warming up the balance on this leg, this leg's nice and firm and strong. Ease it down. Other side, stretch it. Fling that chest open. Stretch the shoulder. Fling it. And on the other side. Yes, just shake it out. Do what you gotta do. Some shoulder circles in and out. Shoulder circles forward, back, get those feet moving. Bouncing, shaking, whatever you need to do to make your last preparations before we start getting rolling. Round one is gonna be pretty much a secondary warm up round. Pretty much warm up round, secondary. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with just a one, one right kick. Now, if you're on a bag, I have a bob over here. You can throw a roundhouse kick, a roundhouse. In the air, just go front kick. So this round right here is a straight left. So this round is going to be our warm-up of our regular punches. So we're just on a one, right kick, reset, right kick, bounce and flow. One, boom, right kick. These are short combos. They're going to be short, short time rounds. Hands up. So it's straight left, boom, right kick. I'm going to move Bob over here. You keep going while I'm yapping. I'm just going to move Bob closer so once in a while I can show you how it will be on the target over here, Bob. So he's just barely on the edge of your picture because you can see there's a one and then you can go around a roundhouse. Right in the ribs. Something satisfying about just beating the shit out of Bob. Is anyone with me on that? He's just so punchable. All right. We're going to switch it up. You're going to go one left kick. Reset. One, now here, look at my feet. After that one, you can switch your step. Throw the left kick, then get back to your stance. Switch, boom. Step back to your stance. One, switch, boom. Back to your stance. If you want to try this out, you can also go with the lead leg kick. So you can go one, left kick. One, boom. See, I'm keeping it as a lead leg. Try both ways out. One, switch, left. Next time, try one, boom, and just get that out there, driving off that back leg. So it's just a one and a left kick. So we did one and a right kick, then one and a left kick. We do that for all combos. One more. There's so many variation combos to get to. These short ones are just going to be running through them. This is just your warm up. All right, let's go two with a left kick. Two. Or sorry, two with a right kick. Two. Right kick. Reset. Two. So if I was on Bob here, it's boom, bang, roundhouse, right after it. So it's boom, boom, it's a combination. Two, right kick, and reset. Keep those hands up. Bounce in between, flow in between. You sure to be getting your heart rate up. Tip by summer, you sure to be getting up. Boom, boom, reset, hands up, hands up. Light on your feet, bounce around, boom, boom. Yes, so straight right, right kick. And let's switch right away, sticking with the two, and now left kick. Two and left kick. Reset, hands up in between, elbows tucked in. Little flow, little rhythm. Two, pivot that right foot, quick switch, pop with the left. Two, if you had a bag, if you had Bob, roundhouse is actually easier to go with the lead leg. So you could be two and turn right into that. You see that? Two, pop, right into that kick if you have a target to hit. So don't, you don't always have to do the switch step. You can get the balance down. Think of that pivot on the two as your wind up for that kick. You turn right into it without doing the switch step. In the air and a front kick, switch step works better. Two, switch. Boom. I'll you know, put Bob back here so when we do it, you can see the whole combo. So he's not in our way. Oh, there he is. There he is. You keep rolling. When I'm over here bullshit with Bob, you just keep on rolling. Two. Left kick. Time. All right. We're going to go three. Right elbow. So three is our left hook. Right into the right elbow. And reset. So with the straights, when kicks, with the hooks, are going to go elbows. So right now, three. Right elbow. Three is our left hook, right elbow. So I'm a little bob here. 
a little low from Tyson using last class. Three, right elbow. Reset, bounce. Blow, this is a close range strike. So get up close and personal. Three, boom, and smash that elbow in. Reset. There it is. Left hook, right elbow. Bam. Wake up, wake up, wake up the neighbors. Make some noise. Shake the building. Who cares? It's, it's 3 o'clock here in California. 3 a.m. Let's roll. All right, let's go same thing, but now left elbow. So it's going to be a little more, not flow as much. So we're on three, left elbow. It's two separate strikes. So don't go three and just flow into an elbow. It should be double pumping. So it would be three, elbow. Double pump that left side. Let's see it. Three, left elbow. Let's roll. Two separate punches. Turn that waist twice. Three left elbow. Yes. Move. Boom. Bam. Left elbow. Double pump on that left side. Your chin is tucked. Your hands are up. Your elbows are in. You have good strong stance. You're light on your feet. You have a lot of footwork. Head movement. Boom. Bam. All right. Let's go with the four. So we're going to start four. Right elbow. Four is our right hook, right? So boom. Bam. Slash that elbow. So you're double pumping that right side. Slash that elbow in there. Right hook, right elbow. Boom. So it's boom, boom. Double pump, double pump. Right hook, right elbow. Hands up, hands up. Flow. Smash it, smash it. Little rhythm. This is up and close. Boom, boom. Right hook, right elbow. Right elbow can come straight across. Even better flow if bam, a little downward, little pop to it. All right, let's go right hook, left elbow. This one's gonna flow a little more. So it's just, boom, boom, just like a three, it's just like a four, three, except your hands tucked in for that instead of a three and you're smashing with the elbow. So it's right hook, left elbow, let it flow. The work is coming from your hips, your legs, your waist, your arms are just going along for the ride. Your body's using your arms as a weapon. Let's roll. Bounce. Flow, rhythm, yes, yes, and reset. So you should have some energy, some flow. This is where you're gonna get that technique better, you're gonna get real world technique, you're gonna burn more calories, you're gonna get in better shape, you're gonna get better condition, and you're gonna freaking sweat some more, and kill some more freaking fat. Four, left elbow. All right, now that was, so with the straights, we know it went kicks, so and that's gonna be all day, so get used to that. With the hooks, went elbows, now with the uppercuts, our five and our six is gonna come knees. So we're gonna start with a five and a right knee. Five, right knee, reset. Five is our left uppercut, right knee. Five, knee. Look at Bob over here, look at that chin. He's like, and he's nice and short. This is perfect spot, you keep rolling there. Well, I'm, I'm messing around with Bob here. So he should be, boom, boom, ooh. It's an uppercut to the chin, a knee to the chin. Knee can also go uh, into the body, right into the chest. Cave the freaking chest in. Let's see some energy. Let's see some viciousness, some violence from you freaks. Let's roll. We got some freaks here doing it with us. Hands up, hands up. Crunch. Boom. That's five. Left knee. Change together. Reset. Let's get some flow, some movement. Chain, full speed now, you're warmed up. You have the blood flowing through your body. Boom, you need to be smashing it. Yeah, hands up, hands up. Crunch, boom. This is this is core work at its finest. Think about it, you keep rolling while I'm yapping. Let's switch over to the, to the five left knee. So five, uh, left knee, think about that. Keep rolling, so that's left uppercut, left knee. You can keep that lead leg, look from a side view. Or you can go, Get used to both ways. Depending on the situation, you're going to use both ways of that. But think about the core work here. So I'm crunching for that uppercut. Crunching in here. Switching and uh, double crunch on that left side. Ab work at its finest, people. You want to stay fit, flat, firm, strong, functional core all year round. This right here is all it takes. That's it. Be 
These workouts here, right online. This is all I've done now for freaking five months is following these workouts, either training you on these workouts or following the recordings of these workouts. And I'm about to turn 40 something. I don't even know what I lost track. I feel 20 something in the best shape of my life. Strongest of my life, most energy of my life, best endurance of my life. All right, we're going six, right knee. Boom, boom, this is double viciousness. Double viciousness is probably on your strong side in your rear hand. So six is our right uppercut. Six, and boom. And listen, in between, in between, get some movement, have a little fun, get some head work, head work. move around, flow, circle, find Bob, and go! Oh, have some fun with it, people, let's roll. Bam! This is just viciousness. Close range viciousness. This would be real close. You'd be up and under the chin. And then boom! A knee right to the chin, to the gut, to the nuts. Whatever works. Wherever it lands. Six right knee. We are flowing. We are rolling! Yes. Bounce. Flow. Keep those hands up. Find that flow. Find that rhythm. And boom! Boom! One more. Right upper, right knee, and time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, we are going to roll an intermission round. That was round one. Round two is just going to be a quick little cardio to punch intermission round. We have a squat thrust to run and punch when you come up. So you're going to do one squat thrust. Squat down, jump back, jump in, four run and punch. Squat thrust, let's go, we're rolling, we started. You're with me, you're with me. Four run and punch. If you have a little bag, Give a little bit slap first, and then come up, popping. See, just some running punch. It doesn't mean I'm not. You're not popping. So get a little ha 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 on that. Let's do it. Squat thrust down, out, in and up, and pop, 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 pop. That's high knees, straight punches. Keep rolling, keep rolling. You're rolling with me. Squat thrust, squat thrust, pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. Time, and we're going right away to crawl out, to plank and punch. Crawl out, plank and punch, check it out. So you're crawl out, push up position for two, plank and punch, crawl back in, stand up. You have a bag, face your bag. I'm going to crawl out, I'm gonna reach up, punch me in the gut, right there, bam, boom. Back in. So crawl out to plank and punch. Let's roll. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Before we get back to our next punch, kick combo. So let's crawl out to plank and punch. Let's roll with one more. One more. Are you with me? Time. All right. So we did mixed, remember, our punches mixed with our kicks, our hooks mixed with our elbows, and our uppercuts mixed with our knees. It's gonna stay the same. We did two punch, two strike combos. Now we're gonna mix it in to four strike combos. All the same way of mixing it, it's just gonna get longer combo. And then we're gonna to continue to mix the squat thrust with either run a punch and plank a punch, crawl out, run a punch, plank a punch, all the variations, same way. So let's roll with this next round. Check it out. So we're going four strikes. The strikes are gonna to continue to stay with just the kicks on this round. So we're gonna start one, two, Right kick, left kick, reset. One, two, all right, let's do it. Let's three, two, one, boom! One, two, right kick, left kick. Get your switch however you need to get it between those kicks. You keep rolling, keep rolling when I'm yapping. So, one, two, right kick, you could step down and switch, make your left leg your back leg for the left kick, then step back to your stance, whatever works. Keep those hips loose, loose and flowing. Listen, if you need to stop in between, if you need to get a quick stretch here in between, Whatever, stretch those hip flexors out because you're throwing a shitload of kicks today. You do what you gotta do. Go at your own pace, modify before you stop. Keep rolling. Dive before you freaking quit. Keep it going. So we're going one, two. Right kick, left kick. On our little friends here. Boom, boom. So you can just switch step and bang it with the roundhouse if you have a bag. If you have a bag, go for the roundhouse. Flows even a little better than the front kick on a bag. And then even if you have a bag, you can mix in the front kicks also because front kicks still are 
Boom! Look at that. Still effective. Effective as hell. One, two, bam, bam. Reset. Boom, boom. Keep those hands up. Keep them up. Keep them up. You need to protect that face. If you got an ugly mug like this, you got to get all the protection you can. You can't handle any more damage. Boom, boom. Flow, bounce, rhythm. All right, time. We're going to stick with the same combo of the one, two for the punches, except switching now left kick, right kick. So we're sticking with the one, two. We're not going to switch. We're not going to mess with the pattern of the punches. We're just going to mess with the pattern of the kicks. So it's still one, two, left kick, right kick. So it's a different transition after that two. Let's roll. Begin. One, two, left kick, right kick, reset. One, two, left, right. Oh yeah, His hips are moving, they're loose. Blood is flowing, we're feeling good. On a Tuesday morning. Boom, boom, bam, bam. I'm strong as hell. Listen, when you're punching, you don't know what's coming back. This seems to be solid. Oh, you might take a shot back in. You gotta be ready. You gotta build your armor up against the elements. One, two, right kick, left kick. Now, or sorry, one, two, left kick, right kick. Keep them up, keep them up. We're flowing. We're flowing. Move around a little bit. Throw it on the bag. Throw it in the air. Left, right. Time. We're going now. We're going to alternate punch, kick, punch, kick. So check it out. It's going to be one left, left kick, two right kick. We're going to do both variations of this. So right now it's a four strike combo, so don't forget. Punches go with kick, or straights go with kicks. So it's one left kick, two right kick. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go. Straight left, left kick, straight right, right kick. Chain together the best you can. Do a switch step. If you need to do a switch step, it's right here. Check it out. So that two to right kick should flow. It's both on the left, both on the right. Keep it rolling. One, left kick, two, right kick, reset, bounce, flow, rhythm. Listen, keep rolling, keep rolling. One, left kick, two, right kick. If I can find rhythm in this body, in these bones, you can. If it's, if it's possible for me to find some little resemblance of rhythm to make this stuff happen, it's a possibility for everyone. Trust me. It just takes practice, repetition, persistence, discipline, and consistency. And does that go for all areas of life, right? That's all it takes to get better at anything, succeed at anything, to kick ass at anything, to freaking operate to dominate at anything. It takes discipline, consistency, getting in your reps in, building up your freaking armor. Let it flow. Move, bounce, rhythm, flow. Time. All right, so now we're going to go opposites. It's going to be one, right kick, two, left kick. So a little different transitions here. You're going to feel all kinds of stuff. You're going from high left, low right, low left, high right, whatever. You're all over the place, crisscrossing. That's why this is core work. Balance, coordination, conditioning at its finest. Let's do it. So we're on one, right kick, two, left kick, reset. There it is. One, 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 right kick, two, left kick. Let it flow. There it is. One, right kick, straight right, left kick. Won't forget, one is your straight left. Right kick, land, plant, pivot, straight right, switch, step, boom. Left kick, keep chaining it, keep chaining it. One, right kick, two, left kick, time. Nice, let's go to our hooks and our elbows, hooks and elbows. So now, we have our three, four, left elbow, right elbow. This is gonna flow, because it's just pop, 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 pop. 
Left, right, left, right. Let's do it in three. In two, in one. Boom! Drop the hammer. Three, four, elbow, elbow. Um, Bob over here. See how that just flows? Three, four, elbow, elbow. Chain together. The, the punch should come from the ground up, from your legs, from your hips, your waist, your obliques, your lats. That's what's turning your body, not just your arms. Three, four, left elbow, right elbow. And reset. Let it flow. Let it. One side, one move sets up the next move. Move around in between. Keep those hands up. Keep going at your own pace. You can go more reps nonstop. You can move around and recover, get more footwork, more total body work. Whatever works for you, freaks. Let's do it. Three, four, left elbow, right elbow, smash it. Listen, slash those elbows in there. Smash them in there. There it is, breathe it out, breathe it out for each strike. It's a pretty close range strikes. It's three, four, elbow, elbow. Oh yeah, almost broke the screen. Got you on three different screens here. Boom, boom. So that's left hook, right hook, left elbow, right elbow. Look at the hips going. Hip. Hip, 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 into each strike. Time. All right, we're going to hit the opposite of that. Three, four, right elbow, left elbow. So now you got to transition from that four, bam, into that right elbow. But don't forget, it's two separate strikes like it was earlier for the left. So we're on three, four, elbow, elbow. So now it's bop, 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 bop. Left, right, right, left. Let's do it. Let's roll. So it's... Three, four, elbow, elbow. Oh, I think we got some blood on Bob. Ain't that a shame? Got some ripped up elbows from plank walks in the concrete. Just little, little pops. Shh, 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 shh. So it's three, four, reset, right elbow, left elbow. So it's boom, 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 boom. There's a little hesitation in between on that double right, but keep it flowing. You're gonna feel those waist just, it's like a rubber band, crunching to one side, then springing back the other way. Crunching it one way and then swing it back again the other way. Hands up. Three, four, elbow, elbow. Yes. Flow. There it is. Little flow. Elbow, elbow. Three, four, three, four. Right elbow, left elbow. It's just boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at that flow. I feel it. I feel it. Yes. I like it. I like it. It's like you're going one direction, slamming on the brakes, and have to re-pump that same direction and whip the other way. Oh man, this is some core work. This is some functional core work. Oh yeah, one more, one more. Ha! Huh. And you know, so that was the two punches with the two alternate strikes. Now we're gonna go punch, elbow, punch, elbow. Same way, same pattern we did with the straights and the kicks. So now it's going to be three, left elbow, four, right elbow. So if you think about it, this one's going to sound bop, 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 bop. So bop, pop, pop, pop. So it's, it's going to be hook, elbow, hook, elbow. Check that out. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, what a flow, what a flow. I like it. I like the way that one feels. You like that way that one feels? It's a satisfying slash when you get that nice hard boom. Boom! Making contact with some flesh. So it's hook, elbow, hook, elbow. Oh yeah. That has a nice flow to it. Let's roll. So it's hook, elbow, hook, elbow. So you're doubling up on each side. So it's left, left, right, right. Or left, left, right. Right, because that left right should flow in the middle, right? That from here, now that elbow should flow right to that hook, and then elbow. Hook, elbow, hook, elbow. Boom, there it is. I'll go a little slower in case you lost it there. Left hook, left elbow, right hook, right elbow. But try to transition smooth. Hook, elbow, hook. Elbow. We got it. We got it. Keep rolling. We're spending a little more time in this one. I want to make sure you got it. Plus, it's just so much fun. It is just fun. Boom. 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 Get tons of work in here. Move around. 
Once you have to calm her down, you don't have to face my anymore. Well, you can move around the floor, find yourself a bob, and boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And once in a while, you see Bob, you can just uh, hit him with a body shot to the helmet. It's not even part of the combo, but it's just so freaking punchable. Time. And we gotta hit the other variation of that, which is three, right elbow, four, left elbow. So this one's gonna flow a little different, a little better in some ways. So it's hook. Elbow on the opposite side, then hook, elbow. Oh, what a flow. Hook, elbow, hook, elbow. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'll walk you through slow in case you don't have it yet. If you have it, go at your own speed. Fly through it. Left hook, right elbow. Right hook, left elbow. Chain that together, though. Hook, elbow. Hook, elbow, oh yeah, that's flowing, that one is flowing. Let's see it, let's see it, keep rolling. Let me feel your energy through the freaking internet. Three, right elbow, right hook, left elbow. So it's left hook, right elbow, right hook, left elbow. Let it chain. Twitch in your waist, in your core, in your abs, in your waist. That's what it's all about. Yes, right there, there it is. Boom, time. All right, let's go to our uppers and knees. We are cruising, we are cruising along. We're getting deep into this thing. This is only still round three, the se segments five and six of round three. So we're on left upper, right upper, right knee, left knee. So the five, six, right knee, left knee. Right knee, left knee, reset. Right knee, left knee, there it is. Hands up, crunch, crunch. Bounce, flow, rhythm, boom, boom. Five, six, right knee, left knee. Ooh, when you're kneeing that target, make sure you got a good control bit and pull it towards you while you extend your hips, you're gonna get double impact on that sucker. You said get back to that balance and that your strong stance, your fighter stance, as soon as possible after that knee. Because anytime you throw a strike like that, look, you're off balance on that one leg. Get back to that stance quick as possible. Ready to defend yourself or ready to boom, boom, strike again. Five, six, right knee, left knee, reset, bounce, boom, boom. Hands up, hands up. There it is. Move around. Five, six. Right knee, left knee. Oh yeah. Five, six. Right, left. Bounce around. Little flow. Time. We're gonna go five, six. Left knee, right knee. Toys gonna be shitloads of. Upper to mix it with lower, it's non stop. Stretch those quads out if you need to here in between. Stretch those hips out, You're doing tons of hip work. Stretch them, stretch them, shake it as we get set up. You got five, six, left knee, right knee coming up. So a little different flow than we just did. Five, six, left knee, right knee. Just different transitions. Let's roll and move. up, hands up. Get those feet working too. Get that footwork, get that head moving. Crunch into that. So it's left upper, right upper, left knee, right knee. Yes. And bounce around. Reset. Crunch, crunch. Boom, boom. All those abs are working. The obliques are working. Sideways, you can get some side view here. Oh, yeah. So 
switch left upper, right upper, left knee, right knee, and ha! Ah! All right, now you know we gotta do the alternate upper knee, upper knee with both variations. If you've been following the pattern, you sure you know how this goes. If you've been paying attention. So we have five, right knee, six, left knee. This one, talk about a crisscross. We are just cross checking the damn body here, coming from every angle. So left uppercut, right knee, right uppercut, left knee. Reset right there. Let's do it. Five, right knee, six, left knee. So after that five, right knee, you need to step back to your stance. You can really pop out for that right uppercut. Little awkward transition, that's what we want. We want to feel different transitions and movement in there. You're gonna feel this one. You're gonna feel it. Five, right knee, six, left knee. So boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. Five, right knee, six, left knee. Bam, smashing. I like it, I like it. Show me what you got out there, freaks. Show me what you got, let me feel that thunder. Feel that lightning through the damn internet. So it's left upper, right knee, right upper, left knee, reset, hands back up, back to your flow. There it is, there it is. And bounce and flow and move around in between. Hands up, hands up. Five, right knee, six, left knee, Move. Switch step in between if you need to. Move around, stay on the balls of your feet. Bounce and flow in rhythm. Hands up. Five. Right knee. Six. Left knee. Oh yeah. Cruising. We are cruising. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it in between. All right, we got. Five left knee, six right knee coming up. The last variation for round three before we do our intermission squat. Let's crawl out with run a punch, a flaming punch. All right, so our last variation for round three. This is only round three, but it's a big chunk. Round three is the longest round. All right, check it out. So you are on five, left knee, six, boom. So let's chain together. Left upper, left knee, right upper, right knee. Try to grab a hold of the target for those knees so you can control it. Whoo, yeah! Let's do it, three, two, one, boom! Five, left knee, six, right knee. Now you know why we did those hip swings in the beginning. We gotta get those hips loosened up because you're, you're slanging bombs with those legs, with those kicks, with those knees. Five, left knee, six, right knee. So that's five, which is your left uppercut. Left knee, six, which is your right uppercut. Right knee, let's go, chain together. Flow, move around. Boom, there it is. Hands up in between. Five, left knee, six, right knee. Bounce, reset. There it is. There it is, blowing. Left upper, left knee, right upper, right knee. Let's do it, one more. Time! Listen, when I call time, I'm explaining the next round. That is your only, absolutely your only chance to get a, a, a reset, to get a break, to hydrate, to stretch. The second you hear me say time, you better start stretching, you better start sipping, because that is the only break you're gonna get. It's just for me to explain the next round, that's it. So last round, we did squat thrust to run and punch, crawl out to plank and punch. This time, we're just gonna reverse the rolls. Squat thrust goes to plank and punch while you're down there, crawl out goes to run and punch once you come back up. Let's do it, so we're on squat thrust to run and punch, or sorry, to plank and punch. So squat thrust, while you're down there, two punches, jump back up. Facing your little Billy Bob here. 
squat thrust, punch, punch, come back up, stand up straight. On the squat thrust, make sure you're squatting down to get down, they don't just flop over the waist. All this knees and kicks, your hips, waist, and core, and back have done tons of work already. You don't want to be doing this to get down for the squat thrust. You're going to put pressure on your knees, your lower back, your hamstring stretch too much. So it's squat thrust down, pop, pop. Squat thrust up. Let's roll, we're doing it. Up, so down, back, punch, punch. Make it a two different punch every time. Jump in, stand up, keep rolling, keep rolling. Well, I'll tell you this real quick. So one time when you're down there, throw a left and a right. Next time you're down there, throw a right, left. Next time you're down there, throw a left, left. Next time you're down there, throw a right, right. Let's do it, we're keep rolling. Squat thrust, left, right, in, and up. Squat thrust, right, left, in, and up. Squat thrust, back, left, left, in, and up. And right, right, in, and up. Time, all right, now we have crawl out to run and punch. Crawl out to run a punch. So you're up. Squat down, go all the way out, push up position. Come back in. Four run a punch. High knee straight punches. Let's do that in three, in two, in one. Roll in. Crawl out. Back in. And pop Bob in the face. Crawl out. Back in. High knee straight punches. All the way out. Oh, almost hit my head. Back in. Keep it rolling. We're moving. There it is. Crawl out. Back in. High. Shake it. So we did two strike combos. We did four strike combos. We're going up to 12 strike combos. Putting everything together, pretty much all the patterns that we've already done, putting them all together, chaining it together. And I'm as explaining this again. This is your only chance to get your shit together. Catch your breath, sip something. All right, same way, the patterns are gonna go together. But for this first one, we're just gonna let those hands fly. So all we're gonna do is all six punches in a row, then all six alternate strikes in a row in a specific order. So it's gonna be left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way through. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, left kick, right kick, left elbow, right elbow, left knee, right knee. See how it just went left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way through? She did all six punches, all six, all six strikes going in the same order of kick, kick, knee, kick, kick, elbow, elbow, knee, knee, going left, right, left, right, left, right. So let's put it all together. I'll walk you through it. If you already have this down, go to your own space. You're already going, you're already rolling. But I'm gonna walk you through it if you don't have it yet. So it's straight left punch, straight right, left hook, right hook, left upper, right upper, left kick, right kick, left elbow, right elbow, left knee, right knee. That's the combo. Got it? Let's pick up the pace a little more. I'll walk you through it still. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left kick, right kick, left elbow, right elbow, left knee, right knee. Boom. Put it together. Put it together. Slash, slash, and boom. Boom. Drive that knee up the middle. What's up? Carissa Joe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kick, kick, elbow, elbow, knee, knee. There it is, put it all together. 12 strikes, chaining it together. Tons of work, and then reset. Get your balance back after each combo, right back to it. If you have this down, go at your own pace. I'm gonna walk through another, walk through another slow one in case we lost you. Straight left, straight right. Three is your left hook, four is your right hook, five is left upper, six is right upper, left kick, right kick, left elbow, 
right elbow, left knee, right knee. Reset. So it's just left, right, left, right, left, right, right all the way through. Is reset straight straight oh, oh, upper upper kick kick elbow elbow knee knee reset oh yeah let's do it again all twelve <coughs> one two three four five six kick kick elbow elbow knee Knee. Oh yeah. One more time, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kick, kick, elbow, elbow, left knee, right knee, time. All right, we're gonna hit that. We're just gonna flip the script on that, where this one's gonna go all the way through all 12. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you can get this already right away, go with your own speed, start attacking. I'm gonna walk you through this. So it's gonna be a, start with the right uppercut here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Right kick, left kick, right elbow, left elbow, right knee, left knee. Just combine all that shit together, we've done. Putting it all together. Let's do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Kick, kick, elbow, elbow, knee, knee. So that whole round went right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. All six punches in a row. All six alternate strikes in a row. If you have it down, go at your own speed. Go. I'll walk through it again for a couple more. Right upper, left upper, right hook, left hook, right straight, left straight, right kick, left kick, right elbow, left elbow, right knee. Left knee, you're working every freaking part of your body, just crisscrossing, crazy, ridiculous core work. This is what it takes to get a strong, functional, flat abs. Let's do it. And reset, keep those hands up. Strikes in just a couple of seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Kick, right kick, left kick, right elbow, left elbow, right knee, left knee. Keep it rolling, keep it flowing. Keep banging it out. Four, three, two, one. Kick, kick, elbow, elbow, knee, knee. Boom, drive those damn knees up. Knees up. Boom, yeah, bam, bam. Bob, get over here. Quick run away with your little bitch ass. Stay there, stay. Boom, boom, time. All right, we gotta go with our alternating round where it goes punch, alternate strike, punch, alternate strike for all 12 in a row. Yes, all 12. Again, so this one's gonna be left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Check it out. So we're on one, left kick, two, right kick, three, left elbow, four, right elbow, five, left knee, six, right knee. See how it's just going together with everything it's gone with today, just staying on the same side, alternate strike. So left, Left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. You got that? You got it. Go at your own speed. I'm still going to walk you through it to make sure you got it. But if you already have that down, it's not as hard as it seems. If you already have it down, just go full speed and attack it. Let's do it. Punch, kick, punch, kick, hook, elbow, hook, elbow, upper, knee, Upper knee, nice. Keep it rolling. So it's a one, left kick, two, right kick, three, left elbow, four, right elbow, five, left knee, six, right knee. Oh, we're just building up momentum and just breaking bones, smashing shit. I like it. See how you 
you can make that flow together. So you can chain one piece to the next piece, keep it flowing. Find your own rhythm. Find your own way to flow from side to side on these. Let's do it. All right, we're walking through it again one more time. Just in case you don't have it, you've been snoozing. Straight left, left kick, straight right, right kick, left hook, left elbow, right hook, right elbow, left upper, left knee, right upper, right knee, tie. All right, this next one, next, this is the last of the 12 round, 12 strike combos. Same thing we just did, we're just going opposite side with the alternate strike instead of the same side. So now it's going to be one, right kick, two, left kick, three, right elbow, four, left elbow, five, right knee, six, left knee. See how we're now just crisscrossing things? You were going on the same side before, and now it's crisscrossing. Crazy, crazy core work. I'm telling you, crazy core work. If you're not dripping sweat, you're doing something wrong. You are doing something wrong. Let's roll. I'm walking through it. Punch. Kick, punch, kick, punch, elbow, punch, elbow, punch, knee, punch, knee. I'll walk you through with different cues. Let's go. One, right kick, two, left kick, three, right elbow, four, left elbow, five, right knee, six, left knee. Let's do it again with even a different cue. Straight left, right kick, straight right, left kick, left hook, right elbow, right hook, left elbow, left uppercut, right knee, right uppercut, left knee. If you've been following along this entire hour, this should just be flowing. Shouldn't even have to think about this, should just make sense. It's the last of the 12 strike combos. We just got burnouts after this, let's do it. Yeah, you can let that flow. You can just let it flow side to side. Just keep chaining that shit together. Let's do it. One, right kick. Two, left kick. Three, right elbow. Four, left elbow. Five, right knee. Six, left knee. Reset. Hands up. Walk through it again, walk through it again, keep rolling it. If you have it, go blazing speed on your own. If you still don't have it for some reason, follow me. One, right kick, two, left kick, three, right elbow, four, left elbow, five, right knee, six, left knee. Let's do it one more time from the top. One more time. Boom, boom, two, left kick, three, right elbow. Four, left elbow, five, right knee, six, left knee, time. All right, we're gonna burn this out with our squat thrust to run a punch and plank punch, just like we did earlier, except it's gonna be squat thrust, run a punch, squat thrust, plank and punch. We're gonna combine them both in the same round. Check it out. Awesome stuff here. This is work right here. So squat thrust, come up, run and punch. Squat thrust while you're down there. Plank and punch. Squat thrust. Run and punch. Come on, follow me. We're rolling. We already started. Squat thrust. Plank and punch. There's alternating rounds. Squat thrust. Run and punch for four. Squat thrust. Plank and punch for two. Keep it rolling. Keep it moving. Remember, hit a different variation of that plank and punch each time. Run and punch is just four strikes with high knees. Hit left, left on that plank and punch. Right, right. Time! All right, we're going with the same game. 
to finish off. Listen, if you're not out of breath, you're not pushing hard enough. I'm in fairly decent shape and I'm dripping sweat. I'm out of breath. Push the damn pace. Challenge yourself. Keep working. Push a little harder. However hard you're pushing, you're probably not even halfway there. Once you think you're all the way there and you think you got nothing more to give and you think you're spent, flip that freaking switch in your head and realize you're probably not even halfway there. Not even halfway where you're capable of. It's just your weakness and tiredness and fatigue starting to creep up like it's a fact when it's just a slight bit of weakness. That's all it is. Work through that shit. All right. That was enough of a pep talk to give us a break before we go to this next round and catch your breath. She could thank me for that later. So we're going to go crawl out. Crawl out. Back in. Run and punch. Crawl out. Plank and punch. Crawl out. Run and punch. Crawl out in a different variation of plank and punch. I'm going right, right this time. Crawl back in. Crawl out. Run and punch. Crawl out, plank and punch. I'm going left, left. Check out this variation. You can do this also. Check this out. You can do plank and punch at the bottom, run and punch at the top. Watch, even a faster flow to really burn out. Follow me. Crawl out, punch, punch, crawl in. Run and punch. Crawl out. Boom, we're burning out here. We're putting it all together. Oh yeah, what a combination. What a flow to finish off. Putting together stuff that you've done so many times. Just chaining it together. Feeling like something totally different. Oh yeah. And time. Yes. All right, we are done. Start stretching right off the bat. Stretching those shoulders. Hold it for 20, 30 seconds while I'm yapping here. Don't forget, if you're following along with this workout, check in for charity. The more you check in, the more we donate to different charity every single month. That has not stopped at all through all this craziness. And with the online training, there have been even more check-ins than even when people were coming into a physical location. So during these crazy times, all this uncertainty, we've still been constantly donating every time. So please check in every time because as bad as you think you have it, as bad as it is because your lights drop for a day or two, trust me, there are people out there that have it a hundred freaking times worse than you. Imagine not having that electricity at all. Imagine not having any internet for the school or to go flick through Netflix let me complain about when our internet's down for a day or two. Imagine those people out there, those kids out there that don't have that at all. Don't have access to that at all. So when shit is going wrong for a day or two, suck it up. Let's stretch that shoulder. Suck it up. Have a little mental toughness. And on top of that, have a little appreciation for what you do have. Okay, my internet's down for a couple of days. What do I have? Is my cell phone still working? Your cell phone must be working because you're bitching about it for hours and hours on Facebook. Not you personally. I'm just saying in general. That's what I see over on, on, the, on the internet. They're complaining about it. Use that time. Go do an extra workout. Go for a run. Go read a book. Go start a business in the time that you're complaining on social media. Think about it. It's fucking crazy. Think about that. So the point was... Check in for charity every single workout. The more you check in, the more we donate for every single class. And this has continued on through this entire lockdown and craziness and economic uncertainty. This is a time more than ever that you should be donating to different charities and fundraisers that need it because there are people that need it more than you. There are kids that need it more than your own kids. Your kids have it good probably. If you're watching this right now, you have a good fucking life. Let me tell you that. And then if you lost your internet, realize you still have a good freaking life. You're going to make the most of it. Do what you can with what you've got. That's the way it is. That's what no excuses means. Do what you can with what you've got. Don't sit around and bitch and complain. We're supposed to be stretching here. But you got me all fired up here on a Tuesday morning. Stretch those quads. Hold for 30 seconds. Instagram is checking out with a time limit. Stretch it. Stretch those quads. We are just recovering. We are done. Let's get those hip flexors stressed. So step back with this back leg. 
All right. Just getting us set up over here. All right. So the back leg is straight and turn into it. Oh, you'll feel that hip flexor stretching and opening up. You can reach up high. You get all different angles of it. You can reach down low to get a little different part of it because this is like a fan down here, this hip flexor. Reach down low, reach in the middle, reach up high. Oh yeah. Don't hold for too long. Some shit will start snapping all over the place. Stretch that out, reach, twist. Hold on to Bob's dome if you need to. to give yourself a little extra twist. Reach with that opposite hand. Oh yeah. Down low, middle, high. Mess with it. Shake it out. Nice work. Give me a thumbs up if you made it all the way through the workout. Put a thumbs up down there. Put an F yeah down there in the comments if you made it all the way through here live. Put an F yeah down there in the comments if you made it through this recording. Let's do it. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. This is your chance to get some live help. Do not suffer in silence. Don't sit and struggle until it's too late and then you've dug yourself in a hole. This is your chance. You have the outlet here. You have this live VIP page. You have so many forms of communication right now. If you need help with anything, with your training, your nutrition, your diet, anything, in the gym, out of the gym, doesn't matter. You have the instant messaging. You can call, you can text, you can email, comment live. Like what more, like you have live access here on a daily basis. Use this, utilize this. This is a resource. There are non-stop resources you have. Yes, Jeffrey got, gave me an F, yeah, I like it. You made it all the way through here. Give me a thumbs up, give me an F yeah, give me a hell yeah, give me a whatever it is. All right, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll come, I'll circle back around later on and check this out. Yes, Clara, Ava, thank you for joining us. Kicking ass as usual every morning. You are freaking awesome. I will talk to you later. If you have any questions, send them out, put them in the comments below. I'll check it later on. No excuses.